everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Today we're gonna to be talking about Halloween at Walt Disney World. We're gonna be talking about some of the free items, some of the extra items, and some of the parties that Disney has to celebrate the spooky season. So let's get started. I'm Christina. I'm a traveler, a planner, and most importantly, a mom. I'm sharing my best tips to make traveling as a family a little less stressful. So put down your phone, pack your bags, and let's showcase the world. Like I said, we're talking about Halloween and we're going to start at my favorite part of Halloween, the treats. So um, there are all sorts of treats throughout all four of the parks as well as Disney Springs. Mostly dessert items that you're going to find, um, but they're themed to the holiday. You're going to find really cute cupcakes and cake pops and ice cream cones and desserts and all sorts of stuff that celebrate the holiday. Um, you're going to find a lot of those at Disney Springs as well at places like Amaretz or Goofy's Candy Kitchen. You'll get those themed um, apples and all of that fun stuff. Um, Rice Krispie Treats, they're all themed for Halloween. Some of the restaurants at Disney Springs also have autumn menus. They're not Halloween specific, but I thought they'd be be fun to mention because I love fall foods. So you'll find a lot of pumpkin on the menus and other um, seasonal flavors. So those are fun. Um, you're also going to, at Disney Springs, they have Halloween makeovers at Sephora. They have entertainment like the Strolling Piano does some Halloween tunes. There's also a zombie drum corps and they have all sorts of photo ops around Disney Springs. So some fun free things to do for Halloween. There's also fall decorations everywhere. So check those out at the parks or at your resort, especially the deluxe resorts have a ton of fun fun decorations that if you're not going into a park or you just want a little bit of a break, head over to some of those resorts and check out what they have going on and compare it to what yours has going on. It's a fun day. Um, res your resort does have activities as well. They have crafts that are themed. Um, so I know Coronado Springs is doing a special day of the dead painting um, a character. So you get like a little wooden character that you paint for the day of the dead. Um, they have Disney characters there on Halloween. Um, rare characters or characters in costume. They're not going to just be at the Halloween party. They're going to be at your resort as well. I know All Star Movies had Donaldo, um, which is Donald's alter ego, which is fun. Then their, um, the movies under the stars changed to theme movies as well. You also have on Halloween, ha Halloween costume contests and trick or treating around the main pool area. So um, I recommend going to the Halloween party, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Not on actual Halloween, because because you can enjoy these fun activities at your resort for Halloween. The ultimate resort to visit during Halloween though is Fort Wilderness and you don't have to be staying there to go there. Um, they have a Halloween golf cart parade. They have campsites and decorating contests. So these used to just be done by the people staying at Fort Wilderness. They would just kind of do it on their own. Now um, Disney officially has a contest and um, the night before Halloween, so October 30th, they have a great big party and they announce the winners of the campsite and cabin decorating contest as well as the Halloween costume contest and the golf cart parade. Um, there's also a pumpkin decorating contest and trick-or-treating. So Fort Wilderness has a ton, a ton of things going on. They also have a special event that starts in September, which is called Return to Sleepy Hollow. You get to watch the Sleepy Hollow short um, from The Adventures of Ichabod, Ichabod and Mr. Toad. You get to watch that in the Triple D stables with the horses. You also have a photo op with the Headless Horseman and a treat bag and all sorts of little fun activities to go along with that viewing. Like I said, on October 30th, they have this huge event. It's called the Halloween Beach Bash at Clementine's Beach. They have, you ready for it? 
Halloween trivia, villain limp sync competition. The contest winners are announced. The movies under the stars um, is Nightmare Before Christmas. There's a donut eating contest, a family mummy wrapping contest, a candy cane toss contest. And then there's a fireworks viewing party followed by a monster dance party. So really, really fun event. It doesn't cost you anything. So definitely head over to Fort Wilderness and check that out. The fun doesn't stop with that party though. They also have a headless 5K on the morning of the 31st. They have a pet parade and then Camp O Treat. So you can sign up to be a part of trick or treating at the campgrounds. You would just go to, I believe it's the bike barn, but look at your times guide and your resort guide to make sure. And you sign up and then people can come to your camp or you can just trick or treat you'll get a list of the campsites participating so um another fun thing to do is the seasonal dine at hollywood studios hollywood and vine um it for september october it becomes minnie's halloween dine they're all in their halloween costumes so that's someplace outside of the magic kingdom that you can celebrate halloween all right now we're going to talk about the big one guys the mickey's not so scary halloween party it is a special ticketed event um the amount of money that it costs does depend on the date you're going the closer to halloween the more expensive it will be um it is around but it's between 80 and 100 dollars a person i believe it gets up to 112 on halloween night but that's like way on the high end um, it changes every year so make sure you check if you are interested in halloween party tickets i am happy to help you with those i can purchase those purchase those for you and help you plan your time at the party it's important to plan your time at the party because there is so much to do. You're not going to be able to do it all. So you want to be able to prioritize what you want to do and have a game plan going in. Um, some of the things that are offered at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party are special character meet and greets. So Jack and Sally are there. The Seven Dwarfs are there. Moana, for some strange reason, only meets on Halloween. And then you have your favorites like... Um, Pooh and Mickey who are in, are in certain costumes. My favorite is Elvis Stitch. Um, and then you have Queen of Hearts and the Mad Hatter. You might be able to see them during the day but not necessarily together. Or Cinderella meets with her prince. She doesn't normally meet with her prince. You also have meet and greets with Jafar. Um, you have Jasmine and the Genie or Aladdin and Abu. So people that you don't usually see. Um, Tarzan and Jane is a fun one as well. The lines for those get really, really, really long and you might spend your whole party waiting in line for those. So again, it's important to plan. Um, if there's one, I would pick one you really want to see, line up for them before the party starts and then you get to meet them and enjoy the party. So, um, not so spooky spectacular fireworks show is the fireworks spectacular that is only shown at the halloween party you cannot see it unless you buy a ticket to the halloween party but don't worry it's not as good as hollow wishes it is definitely not a must see anymore unfortunately um but it's a fun little show with mickey and minnie and zero and some fun Halloween, um, as a fun Halloween storyline with fun Halloween projections, and of course the fireworks are spectacular. So, um, you also have the Hocus Pocus villain spell spectacular, and that is a stage show that goes on three times a night. It features the sisters, the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus, and they have to they need a little help with a spell so that they can throw a huge party with all of the villains so um you get to see some some characters you don't usually get to see like Hades and um Lady Tremaine so that's a little fun it's a fun show great to watch while you are waiting for the parade or the fireworks um there's entertainment throughout the park there's the cadaver dance so it's basically the dapper dance become zombies, <laughs> um, cowboy zombies, and they end up over in Frontierland and they sing their barbershop quartet songs um, style to some favorite Halloween songs, villain songs, things like that. You have dance parties, you have the descend dance party in 
Tomorrowland, the Disney Junior, Junior Jam. Also, um, that's in Storybook Circus, and that has some of your favorite Disney Junior characters, and then the Monster Scream Oween. So that's music being pumped out. Your favorite characters are there. They do not take pictures or sign autographs because they're so busy dancing. But if you have kids interested in the Descendants or kids, young kids who love to dance, those are great activities as well. Um, the trick-or-treat trails are also fun. I don't know if you necessarily need that much candy, but uh, my it's my mother-in-law's favorite part of the Halloween party. She thinks it is so cool that Disney is a place that an adult can trick-or-treat so she always insists on waiting in every single trick-or-treat trail line and she absolutely loves it. Um, there's also attraction enhancements so Space Mountain has an enhancement and um, Mad Tea Party they both have enhancements where the lights change for the Halloween party. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean has some enhancements as well they have some live action that join it so um, those are new within the last few years and I'm sure they're gonna probably keep adding some more those are fun things it's also always fun to ride the Haunted Mansion no special attract um, enhancements for that but you have to ride it for Halloween right um, there's also shorter lines on your favorite attractions not necessarily Haunted Mansion because everyone has that idea but um, things like Seven Dwarfs Mine Train that have really long lines during the day or those attractions that maybe you couldn't get fast passes for and you want to be able to just walk right on. That's a great reason to visit the Halloween party as well because everyone's so busy meeting characters and watching the parade that they aren't really spending time on attractions so you can walk on some of your favorites. Not all the attractions are open though so make sure you check um, and see which ones are open during the party. It changes every year. Um, there's also Halloween party only treats and snacks and exclusive merchandise. Make sure you do your research beforehand to make sure you can't just get it during the day before you spend time getting a treat for Halloween. But they had this really cool Hocus Pocus cupcake um, that I will post a picture on my Instagram. So head over to at Showcase the World Travel if you want to see that really cool cupcake and all sorts of other um, Haunted Mansion treats. Those change every year as well, but it's definitely cool to try some of those exclusive treats. My favorite part of the Halloween party though is the Boo to You parade. And I am not a big parade person. I'm usually a skip the parade, ride the rides person, except for the Boo to You parade. It is incredible. It is so much fun. The grave diggers and the ghosts from the Haunted Mansion are just the best part. So there's two parades. Um, if you have younger kids, obviously you're probably going to want to go to the earlier parade so you can get them back to bed. But if you're able to, stay for the later parade because it is not as much people. Um, so Disney does cap the event at a certain number of people. Unfortunately, I, that number has increased over the past few years, so it's become increasingly crowded, more and more crowded. So you definitely want to have a plan. Um, it, it may not necessarily, if you have a large party and it's a huge cost, you might want to weigh whether or not it's worth it. If you want a little bit more information on exactly what's included and whether or not I think it's worth it for you, um, check out the blog post I will link below. Thank you guys so much for joining me and remember to explore the world together. Need help planning your next family vacation? Visit us at showcasetheworld.com to request a quote or schedule a free vacation consultation. Want more great travel tips? You'll find those there too.